Friends break into Michael Jackson's abandoned Neverland Ranch and make a seriously creepy discovery. While Michael Jackson is widely regarded as one of the greatest performers and recording artists in human history, he was the king of pop after all. His story was not without its dark chapters. A slew of controversies, including a number of serious allegations, sullied what was otherwise a long and highly influential career. While different individuals may have their own opinions about what Jackson did and didn't do, the fact remains that he was beloved by millions upon millions. Even those who weren't fans still find his mysterious life worth exploring. Recently, a group of four people infiltrated Jackson's now abandoned Neverland Ranch in search of answers to some of the questions that plagued him throughout his career. What they found there, however, was something they weren't ready for. The Neverland Ranch was once Michael Jackson's pride and joy. It was a dreamland where he could act out all of his fantasies. After all, he didn't have much of a childhood after being thrust into stardom at such a young age. After it was raided by investigators in 2003 following a series of child molestation charges, Jackson abandoned it until his death in 2009. The ranch has been sitting in legal limbo ever since, with no clear potential residents emerging. That's why one group of friends decided they had to sneak a peek inside by breaking in. While that action may have been questionable, certainly in terms of legality, the pictures they shared were nonetheless fascinating. A great deal of their findings ended up being just what you might expect, considering Jackson's reputation. He was never guilty of the allegations against him, and Michael remained devoted to the magic and wonder of childhood. Yet there was definitely a lot of other creepy stuff to be found around the complex, such as the strange magazines and demonic statues below. People know Jackson for a lot of things, but the occult is rarely one of them. Some of the decor was truly heartwarming, especially all of the statues of happy children scattered around the park by the previous owner. Or this adorable doorknob that you're probably Googling to see where you can get it. Neverland was also once home to a wide variety of exotic animals, but those facilities have long since been abandoned. After all, once the complex was deserted, there was nobody left to take care of the animals. Above this old cash register was a portrait of Jackson as an alien overlord. Could he have been trying to tell us something? If nothing else, he probably just thought that it was an amusing image. There's something especially eerie about all of these abandoned bumper cars, especially at night. One can only wonder how often Jackson liked to invite his guests to join him in his own little amusement park ride, if only that was the weirdest residing there. There were even more statues of children. Each one of these structures was so realistic and highly detailed that it was almost unsettling. Is this the weirdest place on earth? That depends on how you look at it and what your feelings are about Michael Jackson himself. Regardless of how you feel about this enigmatic figure though, there's no overstating how interesting his Neverland Ranch remains. The ranch was owned by the King of Pop since 1987 when he spent $19.5 million but then used it as collateral for a $24.5 million loan, which he defaulted on. The company that bought the singer's debt and then restored the property has finally put the ranch located just outside of Santa Barbara, California on the market, according to Wall Street Journal reports. While the amusement park has now been removed, there are still plenty of things to do with the property, featuring a swimming pool with a cabana, basketball court, tennis court, and barbecue area. The value of the home has been subject to speculation over the years, with people suggesting figures as low as $35 million. 
Something about the history of the ranch, combined with all the creepy statues, gives Neverland an extra unsettling vibe. This is certainly fascinating for anyone who has ever grown up listening to Michael Jackson's music and followed his career. What do you think of Michael Jackson's Neverland Ranch? Would you like to be the happy buyer?